All right, let's get over to pick some. It's Ben Aaron now. He sat down with a saxophonist who is inspiring her community. Yeah, he joins us live from Keiko Studios. And actually, he's home. He joins us live from home. <laughs> you were at the studio. I mean, we got a kazoo, if that makes go. any difference, yeah, somewhere sure. in the house. Um, yes, Ashy Kiko, we're just going to show you what she can do. Enjoy. There's not a single instrument on earth that accompanies New York more than the saxophone. Blazing summer afternoon, melancholy winter night. It's the sound of lonely streets or bustling parks. And stereotypically, we usually see the sax player one way. An old grizzly man with loss in his eyes and life under his fingernails. But today, that perception changes. Hi. Oh, hi, Ashley. This is Ashley Kiko. And you are about to love her. A musician whose life in music so far is nothing short of show-stopping. And she also plays piano. That was terrible. <laughs> so we sit at her music school for lessons from Ashley. Ashley, why the saxophone? They put me in organ classes at first. The organ, like the... Yeah, I wasn't crazy about it. I switched over to piano, just keyboard, later on. And then when I went into middle school, I was pretty good at piano by that point, and I wanted to be in the band, but piano wasn't a band instrument. And so I really wanted to play the flute. I felt like that was a girly instrument, and so I spoke to my dad about it, and he was like, no, play the sax, play the sax. That's so much cooler, and, and I just stuck with it. After that, I really enjoyed it. When I first started playing, I was actually a very shy person, extremely shy. Didn't have that many friends, so I felt like playing the saxophone was a way for me to express myself. The sound, it was the diversity as well. There's so many genres that you can play. then cross over to R&B and hip hop, which I do now. Beautiful. Oh, it's a great song. <laughs> what I love about you is you're taking this traditional instrument like the saxophone and you're moving it to a contemporary, much more modern kind of vibe. You know, there's a lot of pressure to stick to jazz, but I do like to put my own style and flair on it and just kind of express how I, you know, enjoy music. The sax has always been cool. But you're taking it to a different level of cool. Do you find that young people now want to get into sax because they see you and you're like, yo, I want to do what you do? Yes, I've come across so many young girls as well that are interested in the saxophone that I feel if they hadn't seen someone that looks like them playing, they may not have even considered playing sax. <laughs> Are you constantly struggling as like a young woman playing the saxophone, just breaking stereotypes nonstop? I am always fighting that stereotype. Anywhere I go, when I first enter the room, people are like, oh, are you the singer for tonight? <laughs> <laughs> and people automatically think that I am a different type of musician. And when they see me pull out the sax, a lot of people question, is she really good? People actually ask me, are you good on the sax? You should just say no, and then just start playing. But it's not just playing that holds Ashley's heart. She loves to teach as well. 
she started in a place that most artists began, the dressing room of her parents' Taekwondo studio. So while people were breaking boards, you were playing piano yes. in the back? Yes. There were many martial arts students that wanted to learn piano. <laughs> Just playing the piano. Don't worry, it's fine. That was he's going for his black belt. Pass. Just keep <laughs> right. playing. It was something that started very small, and at that time, I actually grew to have at least thirty students of oh, my own that I was in teaching. the back room of your parents' yes. Taekwondo studio. Yes, I loved it so much that I said, "Okay, we need to open our own location it's where amazing. we don't hear the martial arts." <laughs> <laughs> I wish you were still in the martial arts studio. <laughs> There's just rooms full of instruments and potential. So this is part of your school. These are just individual rooms here where people can have like private lessons. Yes. More private lesson rooms with piano. Mm -hmm. Tell me there's a piano in the bathroom. No. It's oh, so fun, <laughs> just. That would be funny. Yes. Do you know how to play drums? No, I don't. Why did the chicken cross the road? Why? Yeah. To get to the other side. We teach everything. Oh. Piano, guitar, violin, Glockenspiel. drums. Glockenspiel? Mm, yeah, we actually. I know one song on the piano. Do you want to hear oh, it? Oh, sure, yeah. yes. It's called Love. Love. What do you think? <laughs> I mean, you're you're giving music to so many young people. It's the next yeah. generation of great artists coming yes. up. Yes, yeah, and that was my goal when I opened the studio. I really wanted to fill the void yeah. of music education that's occurring in the city. Right. We have so many schools that do not have music programs, right. and I can't imagine being a child and not having music and not having that outlet to express myself. You're very good, Thank you. but do you know the sexiest sax song of all time? <laughs> and the music keeps on going. For Ashley, and her students. Breaking the stereotypes forced against her one note at a time. Looking back at her already inspiring influence, from the back room of a Taekwondo studio to a sprawling space where she can teach the masses. And the best part is, she's just getting started. I knew from the jump that Ashley was special. Little did I know, I was far from alone. That's it. That's Ashley Kiko right there. Big applause for Ashley Kiko. Uh, Kiko Studios, uh, you want to learn how to play music. It's right in Queens. It's incredible. You saw the sprawling space. Uh, she teaches adults. She teaches kids. She has visually teaches for a vi piano for visually impaired. She has a blind instructor for piano. Uh, she has private lessons. She does everything you could possibly imagine. All those wonderful instruments you want to learn. That I, mean, it, I, I wish she was closer to my house so my kids could go there. That's that's how much we love it. Um, and Ashley Kiko, you can see her, her Instagram right now. Um, and uh, go check her out, contact her if you want to get in touch with her, follow her journey. And this is only the beginning for someone as special as Ashley Kiko. She really was incredible. And thank you to Craig Treadway for saying you should check her out because our lives are better because of it. Guys, over to you. She is a powerhouse. Yeah, wow, incredible. Yeah. That's like one long note, but gee, that's some good lungs. Yeah. Uh, ben, yeah. thank you yep. for that. Off that the was diaphragm. Awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get over to meteorologist Byron yeah. Miranda to find out what's going on outside. I wish I could play like that. Right? I can't play at all. You could. Ben. She is so you talented. Could. She was great. Believe in yourself. Ah.